now in the approach phase relative to pass pro. Why is stand square so important? Well, initially you don't want to give a defensive lineman a two-way go. Okay. So initially we know if I'm, if I'm taking my pass set and I'm, not, and I'm square, he has to come through me. And if he goes inside, which is the shortest route to the quarterback, right. Then, then if I'm if I'm turned and I'm not square, that gives him a, a two-way go on me. Whether he get, is a, it'll soft, it's either a soft corner or an inside track on me. Right. So when I when I'm coming out of my stance in pass pro, I want to set and be square and give him and give him an angle where he can't go. If I if he goes inside, I can go with him. Close it. And if he if he goes over top, I can continue to run him. That's the that's the that's the, the the key component in pass protection is really just staying square and not giving that guy that defensive lineman a two way go on you and then if because if you turn it's difficult to recover right, right you know obviously against a good athlete a good defensive end you mentioned that idea of not giving the defender a two way go now where are you push positioning your body in relation so let's say I'm the defender I'm yes. a defensive end yes uh, where are you positioning your body are you getting foot to foot with me, are you staying inside out? Are you trying to get your inside shoulder to my outside shoulder? Where are you trying to get your body? I'm really inside out. Okay. So when I'm looking at you, and I'm and I'm looking at you, your mm -hmm. in, inside half from, right. from half your butt out, because I'm here and I want to set you right here, right, right to the out, to my outside shoulder a little bit right here. Okay. So I can understand. So if you go inside, I can go inside. Right. If you continue to go, and then I'm still square, and I got you here. It sounds like this outside leg is gonna split my crotch. Absolutely. In that yep. sense. That's exactly where you. What want about to be. the eyes? The what eyes. are you looking at? Well, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm looking at you right here. Here, right right down the middle right okay middle so, half of you yeah, right. right here so as you come and you know guys are going to do a little wiggle right? so you don't want to look at his head you just want to look right here well a lot of coaches tell kids to look at the head so you don't you don't no, be a fan no, of that no, no one thing i do is <laughs> i'm kind of looking i'm looking down the right down the middle and then what i'm trying to do is i'm recognizing the blitz Ooh, so my eyes okay. are, are recognizing the blitz so once i see his head go down, I said, oh, here comes the bull rush. Right. So in my mind, it's just a reactionary thing. Now I can react to him, whatever he wants to do, okay. and that kind of thing. Or, you know, obviously, when you study a guy, he's gonna try to slap your hands, right. he's gonna try to do all those things, but my right. eyes are right down the middle, and I'm kind of looking at the core of who he is right in his chest, and I'm taking half the man right there. Now go back to that head component. Yes. Like yes. a lot of coaches will tell, you know, young kids to look at the head right. or look at the inside eye of right. the defender. Right, right. And you're not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that, only because as a guy goes out here, your natural reaction in your mind is follow. Follow. Right. Right. And then next thing you know, this guy's here, and nine times out of ten, those guys are a little quicker than we are. So they're they're reacting, they're, they're right. reacting a lot faster than we are. So I'm looking at you right down the middle. And then one thing I always tell kids, especially offensive tackle, is patience. A lot of a lot of a lot of guys feel like because they feel feel like they need to get out because this guy might be a speed guy. Right. He's still trying to get to the quarterback. Mm. So you have to be patient in your set because the one thing you do as an offensive tackle that you don't want to do is hurry up and rush out of here and then you're turning because you feel like right. you, you're behind him a little bit. Just be patient in your set and you kick and come back and realize this guy is coming to you at some point. What about the width of the defender versus a tighter defender? If I get wider on you, how does that change your visual and how does that change your landmark in the backfield? Right, so I always try to get, if a guy is wider on me, I always try to get a landmark somewhere. So I'm a, and me personally, my coach probably didn't like this as much, but I like to kick out a little uh, wider just to get to him uh, so we can get the- so we can get the we can Intersect get, point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot quicker, because one thing, and I always tell young offensive linemen, if you're facing a good defensive lineman, change it up on him. So yeah. if you're tight to me, okay. I want my hands on you quick. Jumps at me. Right now. Right. That, right now, but I'm still staying square though. Ah, so key. The, key, the key. Staying square. The key even on the jump set as we talk about it, is I gotta get that second foot down, right? Okay. Let's walk and through square. it, walk through yeah. it. So, walk so through if, it. if you're here, you're tight to me, and one thing I'm still, I'm still keying the inside half of you, because the one thing that can kill me, and when you and when you quick set, and it's normally on a three-step drop. Okay. So as, as, I, as I'm here, I'm gonna come to you, boom. Mm -hmm. But that second step is quick and fast right wrong. here. And we got, and I'm, I'm, this right hand right here is gonna protect anything from the inside okay. that's coming inside. So you're not necessarily bringing both hands right away. Yeah, yeah. Because so a lot of young players get caught up in, I gotta get both yeah, hands yeah, on yeah. him. So yeah. now if you yep. try to short set me and you yep. get both hands yep. on me. Yep, yep, you know, that's uh, it. Is that what D-line yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, that's the, I okay. guess that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> something, that, like that. something like that. So right. what, what I, I almost wanna go, I wanna strike you and then maybe I'll come here and I, I don't necessarily wanna come over. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of guys, once you come over, that's an easier- Turns that shoulder. Turns the shoulder. And we talked about that with posture. Absolutely. You wanna try to keep them shoulders pulled back. Absolutely, so. So what I do is I have the kid start on the knee. Yeah. So let's say he's gonna start here on his knee. 
This left foot is gonna have to drive through the ground. Yep. He's gonna have to get out of this stance without creating a lot of momentum with that back leg. Yep. You know, we use the terminology drive, catch. Yep. You're driving off of that up leg and catching on that back leg. A lot of coaches talk about kicking, kicking, yep. kicking. I understand. What we like to do is to help the kids stay square, is to get that drive leg yeah. moving. You That's did it key. as a player, That's right? A key, yeah. So let's see key. here. Let's see here. Let's go one drive to your pass set, to your stance. Here we go. Good. You like that? I like that. Let's I do like one that. more. Like let's that. do one more. A little bit more intent. A little bit more intent come out of it with some violence. Boom. Nice. What he's doing, Orlando, is he's pushing the ground down and away. Yep. And if, as you mentioned, if he wanted to get a little bit wider, maybe that defender is a little bit tighter, a little bit wider on him, and he wants to change up the angle of the set, go ahead and get down. Now we're going to have him push the ground down and more forward to get more depth. Boom. Yeah, like and it. he's still square. I like it. Yep. You like that? I like it. I like so now, it. Yep. a lot of kids, though, Orlando, they aren't strong enough yet to come out of that position. Right. So what I try to do is I get him here on the med ball. Same deal because once you're on the med ball, now you don't have to apply as much force because you created some, you shorten the right. distance, so to right. speak. So now it becomes easier as they drive out on you. One thing is hard to teach, mm -hmm. and I've talked to a lot of young offensive tackle, is to push off that leg. Yes. This drill, yes. you can't really cheat it. Cause you can't have cheat to, it. You can't cheat it. Right. Cause you have to, you, you have to, you have to push off. Right. So I think that's key for a young offensive lineman to learn that part of kicking off, because that yeah. really, that gets you out there, right? Yes. No wasted movement, you're here, you're powering off that inside leg and you're going. Let's get to the run game. We got three basic blocks we can execute as offensive linemen. Right. Got a base, reach, cut off, that's about generally gonna be it. Right. Let's talk about those eyes again. Right. In a base block, what were you trying to target? Well, it depends. If, 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 if a guy's outside, I'm still trying to go down the middle, and it depends on the play. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're, you're trying to get, you know, inside shoulder leverage, mm -hmm. outside helmet leverage, but base, on a base block, I'm trying to split you right down the middle, okay. create, still have a great base as I'm coming. And my thing, is, my thing has always been hand placement. Oh, okay. And my coach said, whoever controls the, the, the chest controls the man, right? Mm -hmm. So you see these guys, if, you, if I'm inside him and I got good hand placement on him, there's nothing, I control him right. at some point. Right. You know, guys who get out here, either they get they get penetration, the defensive end can get penetration. Mm -hmm. But if I'm here and I'm creating a good base here and I got a good base and I'm controlling his chest, mm -hmm. I can take him anywhere I wanted to go. So okay. that was my key at all times was, hey, I need to get my hands on his chest. I need to have tight hands coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. and I need to hit with a rising blow. What about a reach block? Reach block. What so, changes? Reach block, cut off. What changed? So if I'm trying to reach you, I'm, uh, obviously my first step is a little bit, but I still, it's still hand placement for me. Because yeah. I want to get that hand, that right backside, your, that backside yeah. hand right in your chest. Uh -huh. So I'm here, or if, or, or if I'm reaching you, I like to get that arm right underneath your arm. So if you too. got like an outside zone hard, yeah. you're going to just rip yeah, it yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are the yeah. eyes changing at all? No, you got a it's still, still, still visual target. So here. Okay. And, I, and I'm only using that technique. I'm only coming through if I know my guard or my tight end is coming with gotcha. me. Okay. But if it's just me and you, reach back, I still want to get here. My target's outside, mm -hmm. but I still want my hand placement right to the middle of your chest. Got it. What about a cutoff now? Cut off. So I'm the same so way. I'm the same way, right? So I'm here. You're reversing it now? I'm reversing the same right. thing, same mm -hmm. principles here. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just trying to cut up, I like to get a guy, I like to get under his arm, armpit right there and just like kind of control him. Control him a little bit. You know, a lot of centers do that. I know, yeah, that's a center, <laughs> that's a center technique. You know, so So bases is stand square yep. in the pass game. Yep. Visually putting yourself in a position where you're gonna stay inside out of right. the defender. Yep. A fair coaching cue would be split the crotch with this outside leg, yep. try to split the defender in half. Absolutely. In the run game, same concept. You wanna be relatively square on yep. the base block. You're never gonna be perfectly square on the base block, right. yep. but just playing those angles, yep. staying square as possible, but most importantly, using your hands. And one thing I will caution on some run plays, if you're going at that linebacker, don't necessarily go where he is, go where you think he's going to be right. based on the play. He's just a little bit better than athlete too. Just a little bit better. Just so let's bit. cheat ourselves. <laughs> so if we know we're running the outside zone oh. and that linebacker stack, you know he's going to be running. Yeah. So we got, again, eyes and we're going to go where he's going to be. Don't run to him. Don't run to yeah. him.